Hello everybody. Uh, today's date, it's September 21st, 2012. It's 9.51 a.m. Central Time. And I'll put the link to this. This is tracking software that's showing the International Space Station. And as you can see, it is approaching the United States. And they're going to make a contact with a school in Oklahoma using amateur radio. Let me put this up here for now. So there's an amateur radio operator. Probably got a couple buddies there to help him out in Oklahoma. And at about uh, 10.02 or 10.03, uh, coming up pretty quick, the amateur radio operator with his ham radio is going to transmit up to the International Space Station. And a astronaut, who's an amateur radio operator, by the way, also, is going to be using the amateur radio equipment on the International Space Station to talk by radio down to the amateur radio operator. And it's a uh, project they do, thing they do from time to time. Uh, this time it's a school in Oklahoma and there's about a thousand people uh, there. I'm sure it's all the students in the auditorium or something. So all the students and the teachers and then there's probably some local media and press that are there. What I'm going to attempt to do is, and I may not be successful, I'm going to attempt to pick up the transmission from the International Space Station on my handy talkie. And as you can see, I, I'm indoors for one thing, and I'll just be using the rubber duck antenna. I should turn off the squelch there, so I'd be getting the most sensitive uh, reception on the radio, but I don't want to do that because you'd be hearing static and noise. Uh, so I'm just going to see what happens using this. It's 9.53 right now, and uh, let me read from the email. An International Space Station school contact has been planned with participants at the Lafayette Mental School. Did I say mental school? Uh, Lafayette uh, Middle School in Lafayette, oh, Georgia. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Oklahoma. On the 21st of September, that's today, the event is scheduled to begin at approximately 1503 UTC, Greenwich Mean Time. I guess they don't call it Greenwich Mean Time anymore. The duration of the contact is approximately 9 minutes and 30 seconds. The contact will be direct between NAISS, that's the International Space Station, and W4LMS, that's the amateur radio operator on the Earth. The contact should be audible over the U.S. state of Georgia and adjacent areas. Interested parties are invited to listen in on 145. 0 0.80 megahertz downlink. It's going to be in English. I was thinking that it was Oklahoma and I'm in Texas, so it's 9.55. I may not be successful. I might not have even been successful if... Uh, anyway, it says uh, they anticipate an audience of over a thousand there at the Lafayette Middle School. Uh, LMS is currently the third largest school in Walker County, Georgia. An anticipated student population of 900 in grades 6 through 8. The local population of Lafayette is 8,000 with half of our students living in the city limits and the other half living in the suburban rural areas. 
Okay, let's. Uh, I got a feeling that I'm not going to be successful. I was thinking with Oklahoma, and even, you know, so. Now, if I had an outdoor antenna, you know, uh, but. So it's uh, 9.56. Let's see where the satellite. I'll put the link to this. Let's see where the satellite is. It looks like it's just coming up on the west coast of Canada. And then it's going to drop down. It's 9.56. Like I said, I'll put the link to this tracking. And I'll put a link to some other... Uh, I may just put a link to my... to this information on my blog instead of having four or five links or whatever. I may just put one there to the direct to the page or something. Let's see. There's a number of uh, programs for tracking satellites and uh, the International Space Station. Looks like a nice little simple one. Okay, it's 9.57. They travel fast, don't they? My hand, is my hand shaking or is... Do we have an earthquake? I got my elbows on the table now. A lot of ham radio operators do make contact with the uh, International Space Station with just a uh, handheld radio like I have here. But I think almost all of them, most all of them, I think, uh, you know, are outside and have a a different antenna hooked to the, you know, to their unit. Okay, it's 9.58. This tracking software gives the latitude and uh, longitude. It doesn't give the entire number, it just gives the... Uh, or yes, it, that would be okay, yeah, that's the uh, number. Minus 124.2, or one, I can't, it's going so fast I can't... Also, it gives a speed over here. Um, the satellite is traveling, or not the satellite, well, yeah, the space station is traveling at 17,175 miles per hour. I'm surprised they don't, that they're doing it in miles per hour, but that's great. And then the uh, other indicator here tells the how high it is from the Earth. So it's 255 miles up. And it's now over the west coast of the United... Looks like it's right, actually, maybe over the west coast of Canada, but it's going to be making a drop here. I think now it's probably... Okay, it's... Uh, in three minutes. I could probably go online uh, to Echo Link or uh, some other connection and probably, but I just wanted to see how this worked out. If I don't hear anything for you, I may not even post this video, but I don't know. Maybe I'll post it. Why not? Even post my failures, right? Okay, it's three minutes until time. So...
Yesterday, I, uh, I guess I should say, excuse me. Yesterday, I changed the uh, theme, the colors and stuff on my uh, website. And I worked all day on it, and I worked all night, and I worked, oh, I don't know, one or two o'clock in the morning. And um, I'm going to hold this up. Not that it's going to make much difference, I think. And then all of a sudden, anyway, it might, it, my uh, website or blog, my blog was looking good. And uh, all of a sudden, the links on it stopped working. When, you, when I moved the mouse over, the menu across the top worked, and something, a couple things worked on the side, but all the other links didn't work. So I, uh, I messed with it for a little bit and couldn't really figure out what the problem was. Okay, it's 10:02 a.m. So I just installed a different theme for it and the link started working. I don't think this is 1002 now. I should have used my uh, other camera like I've gone outside but like I said, really, see, I should turn the squelch off so you would be hearing all the noise, the static, the background noise. But it would not be very pleasant for an audio. Because it could be that uh, the signal is very weak down there and it's covered by my squelch. And with this radio, I'm not even sure what setting I have the squelch on. Okay, it's 10.03, and I don't hear anything. So, How long is this video? 13 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. By the way, uh, you don't have to be an amateur radio operator to receive these signals. If you have a scanner, you know, a police scanner or whatever, uh, and you can track the uh, satellites, and uh, a lot of them are sending out beacons, and the frequency for uh, the International Space Station to be listening on would be 145.80 megahertz. 145.80 megahertz. And if you were, say, in Georgia or in that town or whatever, uh, you could just uh, put in that frequency. So anyway, I'm going to end this. I don't want to have a 20-minute video of nothing. I think Steinfeld had a show that was a success about nothing. Thanks very much for watching.